Uh, welcome back to our channel, and this is the final on the P40 that we built for Pearl Harbor Day. I think we started this on Pearl Harbor Day or the day before. I don't remember now. Uh, but it's all done and not bad. Uh, you know, it's a, it's a not a very good kit. It's the uh, Academy Mini Craft. It's an old one kit. Not the best 172nd kit around, but. Uh, you know, if you're willing to take your time with the model, it's, it's not too bad. It, when you're done with it, it looks like you got a P40, so can't complain. And this is really an expensive kit. Anyway, um, we'll do a recap. We'll start with the base. The base I printed myself in my uh, Risen printer. Uh, the kit didn't give you a base, so I just made one. Uh, I printed it 100% infill, so it's a solid resin base. I wanted it to be a little weighty because uh, I didn't want this to tip over so uh, came out pretty good uh, I found it on an STL site uh, it came with an F14 which was a simplified F14 but it came uh, with the base and the base is what I was interested in uh, you had two versions of this base a, a long neck and short neck and I did the long neck uh, version and uh, yeah it's not bad it looks pretty good with the uh, aircraft it's a simple base and that's what I was looking for. We just did it in a uh, flat black. It's actually primer and then sealed with uh, acrylic doll coat. I was going to get fancy with the base but I thought nah I'm just going to leave it simple like the uh, <laughs> model kit. Um, the plane uh, we painted with Model Master Olive Drab. The top half. Bottom half is Tamiya Sky Gray I believe. There's the underneath, the landing gear and all. Uh, not a whole lot going on underneath there. Um, the interior is Model Master uh, Green uh, Zinc Chromate. And I believe that's it for colors. Our exhaust, I forgot about the exhaust. Exhaust is uh, Rust by Nita's. Uh, it was a little bit of black and then dry brush, some metallic silver over the exhaust and then uh, we did the canopy that was all done by hand and then uh, the uh, olive drab was put on with my airbrush same with the Tim, uh, Tamiya uh, sky gray was done with my airbrush except up here where I did it by hand uh, we added lights because the kit didn't have the lights molded on so I just kind of guessed and added them using uh, chrome and then going over it with clear green and clear red uh, I didn't do the bottom because I figured well I'm not going to see the bottom only the top so I just did the lights on top uh, the pilot uh, the kit didn't come with a pilot so we added our own pilot uh, I took a pilot out of there it removed the head because you know they had the helmet and uh, air uh, oxygen mask and all that and um, I wasn't going to work for this so I took the head off the pilot and added a ground crew head so uh, he looked a little bit more period correct so he's in there because uh, I figured it wouldn't make sense not to have a pilot in it since we're doing it in uh, flight mode and then uh, I had the propeller gr uh, glued on originally and I thought well that's not going to make sense neither so uh, I took uh, my razor saw and cut it off where the nose uh, cone uh, uh, it was glued onto the fuselage. I just uh, cut it with the razor saw, removed the prop, uh, glued the nose cone back on, filled in the holes where the prop blades came out, and then uh, made my own prop uh, blur. And that's just plastic. I wanted to get a PE blur, but uh, my wallet said not this month, so uh, I just uh, made this myself. I have some. Uh, clear sheets of plastic uh, that I use to uh, make the prop a blur. That's just a, a win, uh, tester's window tint. A couple of coats of that over the clear plastic and I figure well that's good enough. It kind of looks like a prop blur. Luckily this aircraft had black props. It didn't have yellow tip props. So uh, 
don't have to worry about that. And uh, that's the uh, prop blur. It's got some marring on it, dummy me. I, I When I was decaling the aircraft and putting the chalks on it, I uh, didn't know I had, I knocked this down on the ground. Well, it was just laying on the floor. And I was getting up several times when I was decaling it to get coffee and stuff. And I was running it over with the wheels on my chair. So I marred it up. It's like, ah, shit. I didn't know. I didn't even realize it was on the floor until I was looking for it to glue it on. I was looking in the box. It's like, what the hell did I do with the prop uh, blur? So I, I kind of marred it up. But uh, I think I'll make another one. But I, uh, I'm not making another one. Uh, it's not that bad. So, but uh, yeah, that's pretty much uh, the aircraft, the P-40B. Uh, I have another P-40B and 148th. That's a trumpeter kit. That um, it's a really nice kit. It's come with a whole bunch of photo etch. Uh, someday we'll feature that on the channel because uh, I would like to build it. It's a really nice kit. This is one of my favorite fighters. Uh, besides the Corsair, this and the uh, uh, Corsair is my two favorite uh, fighters of World War II. Uh, I already have a 132nd uh, kit I built of the P-40. I done as Wild Bill's uh, plane from the movie 1941 and then I got this little 172nd now and then I got the 148th by Trumpeter. Uh, the decals are Starfighter which I've never had issues with. I really like their decals. Uh, we did um, the uh, Lieutenant uh, Taylor version right here. It was at Hickam during the attack and was able to get off the ground and uh, was credited with four kills so that's the uh, one we've done so we've got that uh, paint scheme coloring and uh, numbering uh, so that's what we did and then there's some builder notes on the back here which I was reading and uh, it said something interesting about the paint uh, paint directives I'll just read it it says paint directives say olive over gray uh, some are claiming green was used over gray due to the fact that the olive weathered badly turned to a gray after only three months of strong sunlight and a long time ago I went uh, spent some time in Hawaii spent a couple weeks there and I can tell you that sun's pretty hot so I thought well since that color was known to fade under the sun uh, I took some gray and white chalk and went over the entire fuselage to give it that bleached uh, faded mottled kind of look uh, so that's uh, what we got over the entire fuselage is just gray and white chalk and because it's been doll coated with a uh, Krylon matte acrylic the chalk sticks to it pretty good it's not going to come off I don't have to worry about it rubbing off or falling off so uh, that's what we used over the entire thing to kind of get that bleached look uh, so that's uh, I think I've gone over everything on the little P40 uh, I wouldn't recommend the kit it's really a crappy kit but uh, as I said if you take your time with it it's not too bad uh, the canopy doesn't fit that good, and I could have made it fit better if I would have taken my time with it, but uh, I didn't, and that's my fault. But the canopy could sit better if it uh, if you take the time with it. Uh, what else? I think that's about it. I think I'm going over everything. Okay. Uh, what's next? Uh, we got the old AMT Star Trek Enterprise coming up, the old 18-inch kit. Uh, I built that back in 1966 when it first came out. Got it for Christmas. I got that in the uh, Klingon D7. So those are my first two sci-fi kits I ever built. Um, that kit, I always had a fondness for that kit. Uh, maybe because it was the first uh, sci-fi kit I built. And I always liked Star Trek. Uh, and uh, so we're going to be building that next. Uh, I haven't messed with that kit in a long time. I think last time I messed with it was back in the 70s. I built the kit a couple times in the 70s, and uh, that was it. So I'm kind of anxious to look uh, to, to, to look at the kit again and, and mess with it, and uh, I think it'll be fun. So we'll, we'll start on the Enterprise, and then um, come February 1st, we'll be entering the small-scale group build. I already have something picked out, so we'll stop working on that, uh, and then switch over to our 132nd kit and uh, work on that and I think that'll be really fun 
Uh, it's another kit I haven't messed with in an awful long time. Um, I built several when I was a kid and I think it'll be fun uh, working on it. And it's a kit we might add lights to it, so uh, it'll be kind of cool. But that's for another video. We'll talk about that. And you'll see that video coming up here shortly. So we have a couple videos coming up uh, shortly. So it should be fun. All right, guys. Uh, we're getting uh, many minutes racked up. Okay, take care. We'll see you.